Tessa is currently running a Dragon Nora online training event which allows you to train your own images that is based on a dragon team so on the home page what you can do is you can just click on the Dragon Laura online training link and you'll be brought to the event page where you'll be able to see all the details about the contest but for me personally I just want to try out the online training that Tensor Art provides which is an advanced version of fine tuning some of the base AI image generation to a certain style or to a certain look and feel and in this case the team is a dragon team if you're going to click on the models at the top you'll be able to find the other LoRa's that has been created by other users that is based on a dragon team there is also another option for you to create this is using the template so this is based of Confi UI which is a node based image generation process which is slightly different from the general way that you create AI generated images so if you are well versed in that you can try out the templates as well and of course you can also find the other posts that has been created by the other users before we can even train our own LoRa we of course need to have the dragon images and what I would recommend is for us to look through the various LoRa's as available and for us to create our own set of dragon images that we can actually train on or if you have already created your own images you can straight away train using those but for me since I don't have any images to train my LoRa on yet I'm gonna find a style that I really like and in this case I like this Chinese dragon SL look the best so I'm just gonna click on that and you'll be able to see some of the creations that has been created using these we'll see there are two different kind of LoRa's one is SD version the standard version or stable division 1.5 version and here's the XL version this is like an upgraded version so the main difference between this is the XL version is larger in image size so it's 1024 by 1024 that is like the standard sizing if you're gonna use the SD version then the image that you need to use to train will be 512 by 512 so I can click on run LoRa needs a base you need to find a base that is suitable as well and you need to find SDXL base okay here are some of the base that you can use but I just want to use the base that has already pre-come with this type in the prom maybe ferocious Chinese dragon. When you're creating LoRa's one of the things you want to take note is can you make it a bit unique or special? For me, I wanted to have a black and white version and let's see whether that works. Black and white, no color. So I'm just going to leave this to 1024 by 1024. So remember just now because it's XL version. So this is like the minimum width and height for the images you need. Sampling steps, leave it at 30. Config scale is at 12. Sampling steps is just the number of iterations. So the higher this, the nicer it looks like config scale is the higher this number then the closer it is to the prompt right for the seat just gonna leave empty not gonna change any of the other stuff right max batch because i'm in the free version then i can only generate two at a time so this will cost me 2.4 credits do note that tensor art gives us 100 free credits daily and now i'm just gonna click on generate so here is the result from our generation all right looks kind of great right as you can see this is like a statue light do know that when we are trying to train our loras you need to have a variety uh, facing left facing right whether you have a full body or a close-up so i'm just gonna change a bit on the prom close-up of dragon face and see what it will give us right and once again i'm not gonna change any of the other settings i'm just gonna click on generate so like i mentioned earlier it is good to have a certain angle or team in terms of the laura that you're gonna make because it needs to be unique right laura's allows us to fine tune the style and the look and the character feel of the base checkpoints that we have and you know, the more unique it is then the nicer it's gonna look the generated image or the close-up of the dragon's face wow well, that is perfect really looks ferocious and you know the black and white look and feel is really nice and when we are training laura images the ideal images is between 15 to about 20 images and i'm just gonna reiterate some of this now we have the frontal version of the dragon's face looking good looking good and yes we have the left facing the right facing 
so you can just hover over it and just click on download to so just download them all now that we have downloaded all the images we can just close this you can go back to the main page and go to the dragon laura online training event page on the right side you'll be able to see create your own model just click on that you can also get to this page by going over your profile picture and going to training it goes to the same page you just click on the online training button and there are a few options here the easiest way is of course using the easy mode or the basic mode there's also the professional mode at the top if you are well versed in creating loras but then for us let's just use the basic mode okay there are a few model themes that you can use anime realistic 2.5d or standard so i'm just going to use the anime model theme and there is a base model remember that our images are trained based on an xl model so we do need an xl base so there's only one XL base that we can use so far, which is Animagine XL, right? Next, we have this option for the repeat and epoch, okay? So the higher this value for the repeat, then it actually will go through like 20 repeat cycles for you to actually create one of the LoRa. So an epoch is like how many LoRa's you want to create, like how many version of LoRa's. For me, I'm just going to leave this to about seven epoch and for the repeat i'm just going to keep this 30 do know that the higher the repeat value then the longer the training is going to take and the more epoch you have then of course the longer the training will take to end right but do note that you have seven epoch means that you're going to have seven different loras so now that we have already set our parameters we can click on the upload images and use the images that we've downloaded just now we can just select all of them all together and click on the open to load it and upload it into TensorArt. Since the images are already in the Excel format, which is 1024 by 1024, we no longer need to batch cutting. TensorArt also have the auto tag generation. That means that based on the analysis of the image, Tessa is going to come up with the relevant text that might be suitable for the image. So you do need to look through each of the image and find whether the text are suitable or at your own or just remove the text if it is not the correct one that you feel you want to include as part of the image. So the text are important. So when someone keys in a keyword, it actually triggers that particular look and feel. Let's say if you have a frontal tag, then it actually triggers the look and feel. Down that uh, auto text has been done then the upload has complete as well you can just click on the image and you'll be able to see the text that has been added in solo looking at viewer yes open mouth blue eyes now remove the blue eyes monochrome yes gray scale horns thief no humans fangs spot color we can remove spot color monster and dragon so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through each of this tag and just add in the text that you think is important or remove the text that you feel is not needed for the batch add labels i want to add at the beginning of the line a chinese dragon for all i'm just gonna confirm so each of the images now has a tag at the front which says chinese dragon a and a trigger is black and white chinese dragon and once we are ready we can start the training you'll be able to see the training is now in progress so you just need to wait for the training to be complete since we chose seven epoch just now we have a seven sets of lora so do know that because we have a lesser credit i ended up with nine training images we already have one of our epoch has been created although it doesn't really turn out as black and white but as you can see we have this set of dragons here based on the style that we have originally so we're gonna have a look at how the other epoch will turn out like and once you are happy with any other epoch you can just click on publish you can just download this lora to be used offline using your own ai stable diffusion software the config ui automatic 11 .11. so we have a look at the second epoch which just came online and yeah this is a bit more black and white this is pretty interesting i would say so now we are on the fifth epoch and as it gets higher and higher to the final epoch you realize that the training data gets to become more black and white which is our original intent but then each of the training steps you now you'll be able to see that it progresses from a full color a mixture of black and orange you no know, still a mixture here here you still have some of the bronzy color and look at epoch 4 and at epoch 5 we have almost a full black and white so now let's see what will happen in the last two epoch that is 
gonna be generated in roughly about six minutes hopefully nice so now the training for our dragon laura is complete and since we chose seven epochs there are seven laura types that we can look through here as you can see the evolution from the first epoch all the way to number seven and number seven is a bit closer to the type that we want which is a pure black and white dragon with some gold skills here looking great and the very first one still have some of the coloring there but i would say that it looks quite good as well so what we can do now is we are able to publish the dragon train laura that we have just created so you just need to click on the publish what's in there and just create a new project of course we can include the project name the, i'm just gonna call it the ferocious black dragon the type is laura and the description black and white ferocious asian dragon i just put the word here dragon eastern b and w okay monochrome so these are the text we have dragon eastern bnw monochrome the description is gonna say black and white ferocious asian dragon nice resources so original exclusive now that we have given a project name the type some text a description and i'm just gonna create all right so once you have created your project you can just go back to your profile and go back to your training this is the laura that we just trained you can just click on it and now you can publish the laura click on the publish button and select the project that you have just created just click on confirm now the information from our laura has been populated so we have like the model version the xxl the training steps training epoch uh, trigger words of course we are gonna put black and white dragon bnw dragon monochrome dragon gray skill dragon ferocious Asian black dragon recommended for generation data the basic model you know because this is going to be a uh, excel model so we do need to choose an xxl model that works well with this you can just recommend the standard stable division xxl select that negative from just leave it as it is files have already been uploaded it's a safe tensor model size is full floating point is fp16 all this is automatically generated by the system since we generated the laura on tensor itself and we're just gonna publish this currently it is deploying the laura that we have just created and we need to wait roughly about 10 to 15 minutes before it's available for us to use now that our model is ready upload or select an image in this case i'm just gonna select from workspace then it will tell you that no images have been generated with this model yet just click on generate now and since we have a recommended model for stable division excel is the base i'm just gonna use recommended and i'm gonna remove the original one that i have just now and this is the laura that we just created the ferocious black dragon just gonna keep it to about 0.7 right so your prom frosted chinese dragon black and white no color okay so i'm just going to change the prom to a ferocious dragon in a cave okay let's see since we already have a base model so the base model should have an image for a cave is it negative i'm just going to keep the custom to 1024 1024 sampling steps at 30 cfg skill is at 12 and because i only have 1.2 credits left i'm just going to generate one of that then there will be 1.2 credits that i have okay now let us generate an image of our dragon we are currently in a cave or you can just include black and white in the generation style that you have so this is the one that has been generated okay now what we can do is you can select from workspace this is generated from this particular model we're just going to confirm and yes now this model can be used by the other users so it's called black and white ferocious asian dragon and we ladies and gentlemen have successfully created our own laura on tencent art so the process is not that difficult 
the steps is first you need to find the images that you need you can either find it um, on stock size or you can generate it using any of your ai image generation and just go through the step by step process for you to create your own LoRa and of course create it into a project and now our LoRa is ready for everyone to use thank you everyone for watching if you want to learn more ai tools and skills then do subscribe to the channel and like this video and share it around right if you have any kind of tools that you want me to cover feel free to comment down below and i will try to get to it Bye bye